well, we have made our way into the kitchen. And listen, no hot summer day is complete without a sweet treat, right? And today we have brought in the superstar of sweets himself. Please welcome to our home for the first time, salt and straw ice cream co-creator, Tyler Malik. Welcome hey, to the Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. Oh, on gosh. a hot summer day, joining Cam at the counter are Kimmy and Orly, and they're very Welcome. excited about this particular ice cream. Amazing. Kind of orange. Now, Tyler, salt and straw is huge. People love this. I remember Thank when you. it first came to California, and I never understood when I was driving down the street and I passed this ice cream shop, why is it salt and straw? They sell ice cream. Mm. Yeah. Well, for us, we named the company off of how you used to make ice cream. You'd add salt and ice, and you hand churn it, and then you put it, they take it before they had freezers, they take it out to the barn and pack hay around it. And in our kitchens, we make everything from hand, in the inclusions, the ice cream. And I really love this idea of how creative you can be with when you make things from scratch. Right. So when we make ice cream, we love this idea of making really unique flavors. And when we our flavors are unique, are. it means that we can tell stories with our ice cream. That's right. And I know that you and your, co your cousin Kim started this eight years ago. Yeah. You now have 19 locations. Yeah. So it's safe to say your business is booming. It's been incredible. Yeah. 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 So we're all along the West Coast for over eight years. And... What the cool thing is, every month you come into Salt and Straw, it's a completely different menu. So good. And so we really like, we have fun with that. You know, yeah. we really like go on journeys with our flavors. Right. You have a lot of clever flavors. Yeah. Um, camera can't even we, speak, it's so delicious. Yeah. This ice cream <laughs> no. is blowing my mind. It really yeah. is. It is blowing my mind. And I thought month. I'd had ice cream before. Oh. Clearly, I have never. Mm -mm. Oh. And every month he will blow your mind over and over and over because he I changes it up. It's really quite yeah. impressive. As long as you can stand in line. There's a line every time. No, it's a good sign. It's a we good know sign. people now. We know yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we, yeah, can, don't worry. we can we can just call that. ahead. And this one that is blowing your mind, Cameron, oh. is based on an old recipe from his grandma. Isn't that right? Yeah. I had to call my grandma and she first refused to give me this recipe. <laughs> Scandal. Grandma. Very grumpy about it. Wow. But we eventually made an ice cream. It's very, very famous in our ice cream shops. Oh. And I want to make it for you. And this so, one's on the on the menu every month, isn't it? Yes. This is always in honor of Grandma. Evergreen. Okay, so, so what do we do? First, I want to start with a really, really simple ice cream base. Okay. And the cool thing about this is if we make this base, I almost think of it like a soup stock. If you make a really good base, you can make any flavor of ice cream you could ever dream of. All right, what did you just put so in there? So I've got two ingredients plus sugar. So I started with sugar. I added a little bit of uh, dry milk. Okay. You know the same you'd find in like your grandma's cabinet? Sure. And then a secret ingredient to place eggs called xanthan gum. Okay. Starts with an X, but it's kind of, it's a really, really cool ingredient. Like a binder or something. Yeah, it's okay. really easy to use too. So do I can use regular all those milk together. or do you have to use dry milk? I use regular milk and dry milk. Okay. So it's gonna give us even a deeper, richer flavor. All right. And so I've got my regular milk here right. that's been kind of warming up. I'm gonna add my sugar. And the cool thing about this recipe is it's not too tedious. All I need to do is heat up the sugar and the milk together <laughs> and get them all to melt together. I don't there need to go. temper eggs, nothing like that. Okay. And so that's all that's I That's it? That's it. <coughs> so what I'll do is I'll add heavy cream to that. All right. We didn't you heat take it off cream. the heat? Take it off the heat. Okay. And then I'll cool that. All right. So then and let that sit in my fridge for about six to 24 hours, depending on how much all patience right. I have. So it does take some time then? Yeah. But the cool thing is, it's the easiest thing in the make. So you can prep this, you can make 20 batches of this and let, put it in your fridge, put it in your freezer and make ice cream all summer. So after we have that and it cools, you have to put it in an ice cream maker, correct? We do. So we've been running this for about 35 minutes. Okay. This is a really great ice cream maker. Um, and the cool thing is we can flavor that however we want it. So we added a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla extract, and then we put it in our machine. And as it spins, you can kind of see uh, it starts to churn. That's beautiful. And we kind of look for this soft serve texture. So as we go make the ice cream, I love to make almond brittle. So this is one of my favorite recipes and it's really, really easy to make. Okay. I've been cooking uh, a few things together. This is sugar uh, and butter and water. Okay. And I cooked it together. It started to caramelize. You can look smell the caramel flavor. I almost get some like maple syrup flavor in oh it, yes, right? It's beautiful. And then at this point, I'm gonna add some almonds. Okay. Oh, it's already starting to harden. Mm, you're doing really good. Thank Thanks for you. stirring. Of course. Uh, a little bit of more vanilla. And it's important to take it off the heat when you do this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to let it start. It starts cooling during this process. Oh and then this is baking soda. And baking soda is a really cool trick when you're making candy. It's going to help aerate it. It's going to help kind of that caramelization a little bit. You see it starting to pull in Man. some oh, of the color. Oh, look at that. All right. And then I'm going to layer it. Okay. Pour it out. 
And how long does that take to set up? And this won't take long. It's honestly gonna cool down relatively quickly. Okay, I'll take this from you. Do you have to put that in the refrigerator either? Or I'll just, well? I can let this sit at room temperature and it'll take maybe an hour. <gasps> Is that a okay. fancy oh, tray yeah. liner there? What's, uh... yeah. Oh yeah, we're using Silpat. You can. We use pretty much everything that anything that's non-stick for us. Oh, okay. So now and this is our almond brittle. It's where the so fun delicious, part right? comes in. Oh. Yeah. You can take that off the top of that ice cream maker, and we drop all of these in. Right. So I'll let you do the almond brittle. You're okay. cracking it in. I'll take this all chocolate ganache. So this is basically oh. like the inside of a chocolate truffle. How do you make oh. chocolate ganache? And really simple. We just heat cream and pour it over chocolate chips and add a ton of salt. Oh. Of course you do. Oh. Yeah. And Sounds we'll amazing. pour that all together. Just like that and get it all and incorporated. The cool thing is we could eat this right now. Well, I am. And it's oh gonna God. be a really delicious oh ice cream. Mm. But oh, so it's about wow. soft serve texture, right? Okay, and that's right. the So there's a trick. This is what we call hardening in the ice cream industry. We put it in the freezer and let it sit in the freezer for overnight, right? And it'll heat up. And or cool down, okay. I mean. Cool down. I and, say, how's that wow. It'll cool down in the freezer. It gets so cold that it gets hot. <laughs> and then it gets to a scoopable te texture. Just so, so I'm clear, do you mix it together first before you put it in the freezer? Yeah, I mix it all together. So you can see kind okay, of how so it all mixed together. Okay, so it's been stirring in the in the in the ice cream machine. Exactly. I got you. I got yeah. You. Great. And then you put it in the freezer. It cools off a little bit. Mm. Now, as you do this and you Whoa. start to build this incredible uh, masterpiece that you've done <laughs> here, beyond. tell us, uh, take us through because now I'm I'm I am hooked. Yeah. Tell me about some of your other yeah. masterpieces that you I have. love using flavors to tell stories. Okay. So for us, what we do is we've got a honey lavender ice cream Ooh, made so with good. local honey. Um, I've got another flavor where we actually work with local farmers markets and we make a corn on the cob ice oh cream. Oh my no. goodness, that picture. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? need more information. <laughs> what does that mean? It's so delicious. Wow. Another flavor, so in November, we make an entire menu that's all based on flavors that you'd get at the Thanksgiving table. Oh. So this is a, a maple a pecan but mashed potato ice cream. I knew oh it. I knew you were going to yes. say mashed Please potato. don't tell me you have a turkey ice cream. <laughs> oh. We do have a turkey no. ice cream. Oh of course God. we have my a turkey ice cream. My mind is blown now. <laughs> it's high in protein. It's yeah. low in fat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just like turkey. And all of them are okay. in the cookbook. So savory. So we've made a cookbook to tell our story of how to make ice cream at home. And all of them are in there. So we teach you how to make your own version of this. And by the way, just so everybody knows, you didn't bring this. We literally made it made ourselves it. with our ice cream maker. You can tell. It. Oh it's my so goodness. fresh. Mm -hmm. I Cheers. am amazed and mm. you can come back and practice your ice cream uh, making skills here anytime, <laughs> yeah, my any friend. Flavor. Well done. Thank Find you. this recipe at hallmarkchannel.com.